let's make a cube uh, pillow start with a cube right click primitive cube shift a I don't know why it didn't work here we go shift a to frame alt alt shift to pan and I can go R to squash it a bit here we have a value so I can go free scale and Q to drop the tool and now we can go edge add loop both side turn on and because it's a pillow I'm gonna put them a bit further away so it's more rounding to do a new add loop shift click Q to drop and now if we go in tab you see it already actually it looks like a pillow um, 3 to go in polygon 5 to exit uh, object mode so 3 uh, W to move uh, you can go in point with 1 5 to get out 1 in point and you can middle click drag to select the one on the back like this and you can then move them up down uh, we can do things like this um, this this we could scale them to bring them together um, using the wrong arrow okay so we can do the same here too and shift click like this so this is great for rendering for concept but the tab will not 3d print if you want more subdivision you have to press plus or minus on the numpad I don't have a numpad here um, you can also press 0 on the numpad to maximize or minimize this view um, if you want it to 3d print then you have to go in polygon untab it don't select that means everything is selected shift D and you can go SDS and you would do that a few times like this and that will print you could send this to shapeways and if you wanted to save a bit of money you could just say, select this shift plus a uh, shift up arrow to grow it's the same as going select grow shift up and uh, B that's a very quick and dirty way of uh, it's not very pretty of uh, removing weight <laughs> voila